Shit though, uh-huh. like baby in a puller. Fucker. Don't play with a puller. Right. Just like a pair of huggies. I put man. guns on your head, just like I gave you another. Uh-huh. I know drug dealers that was rich and now they turn to a drug Damn. Damn. All in all, no complaints because I beat the Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Um, so today is a Sunday afternoon. I don't think we've ever actually filmed, filmed on a Sunday. Uh, we're at DMV Iron Gym in Alexandria. So funny story. When uh, last year around this time. That's when like the gyms were still shut down, opening back up. Uh, this was one of the first gyms that was opened up around where I live. So I was going here for last summer. Um, they did a lot of work, so it's actually really cool. But today I want to walk you guys through um, one of my favorite, well, a few of my favorite leg exercises, uh, maybe a few extra exercises as well. And I want to talk a little bit about um, how long it takes for you to achieve a goal, whether that be to mainly to cut down, but even if you're looking to like bulk up and put on muscle, so I, I work with a lot of clients and a lot of what my coaching is based on is physique. So whether that be fat loss, mostly fat loss, mostly um, toning up, that's just my specialty and what I enjoy doing. Um, and then also if you're looking to bulk up. So overall physique, not anyone like looking to step on stage, but just overall wellness and looking good. Um, so yeah, I, get, I always get a lot of questions on, you know, how long is it gonna take me to look like this? How long is it gonna take me to get a six pack, blah, blah, blah. So I wanted to kind of break it down from a high level for you guys. I'm not gonna go too in depth. Uh, I like to keep it high level just because it's easy to comprehend that way. So if you guys have any questions, hopefully this answers uh, anything you might be wondering about. And if you have any additional questions, um, I always love to talk about this stuff. So comment it down below, slide in my Instagram DMs and, and we'll chop it up. But yeah, stay tuned and enjoy. And um, yeah. All right, let's start off with cutting. Um, so in my, it, I think it really depends on how your body you, like works to say if it's harder or uh, easier than bulking up. So for me personally, I think it's easier for me to cut down just because that's just how my body kind of operates. Um, I've never been used to eating large amounts, so me going in a caloric deficit isn't anything crazy. But the downside is when I'm trying to gain weight, it's really hard for me. Like I was pushing close to 3,000 calories uh, two years ago when I was bulking up. And that was a lean bulk, which is crazy. So it just takes me a lot more to eat to gain. But uh, how long does it take to cut down? So on average, it really depends on how fast you're going. So with my clients, I aim for them to have a goal of trying to lose half a pound to a pound a week. That's not nothing crazy. And what I like to tell my clients, especially if they're tracking for the first time, if they're uh, getting coached for the first time, is your body's gonna go through periods and certain weeks where you losing a lot more so sorry for the sound so for the first week you might be losing like four or five pounds which is not normal but the next week you're going to notice that you might not lose anything at all it's just kind of evening it out so say your end goal is to lose 30 pounds just keep that in mind and know that even if this week you're losing a large amount and the next week you're not it's normal because you're getting into a different speed you're eating differently your body's just adjusting to a new routine so it's very normal so, a uh, long-winded answer to a short question, but how long would it take to cut down? I would say on average, try to aim for three to four months for like a pretty normal cut if you're looking to lose 15 to 20 pounds, which is a normal cut for even for a lot of people who compete because they try to stay within that range of 15 to 20 pounds. Uh, realistically, if you're trying to lose that much, it's gonna take a lot of time, but if, if you're going through bulking and cutting cycles within 15 to 20, maybe even 30 pounds, it's kind of realistic to do that within three to four months, maybe even five months. So yeah, uh, to answer that question, how long does it take to really cut down, whether you, your goal will be 20 pounds, 30 pounds, 10 pounds, I would say try to shoot for three to four months and pace yourself. And we'll get into that next, actually. I, I wanna let you guys comprehend that first. So when it comes to pacing yourself, um, and this applies to whether you're bulking or cutting, um, I would say, say you were bulking for six months, right? And you're looking to cut down. Go through a maintenance period where you're slowly increasing your cardio, you're slowly decreasing your uh, calories. This way your body can adjust to it slowly instead of going head in, going from 3,000 calories to 2,200 calories all of a sudden. It's not realistic and it's not sustainable. Yeah, you're gonna see quick results right off the bat, but if you're looking to 
continue this for three, four months, it's not gonna be realistic. We're human beings, you're gonna wanna enjoy the process. So I would say work your way up or work your way down, whether you're cutting or bulking, take small steps, um, and periodically in increments, um, not make it difficult on yourself, but uh, decrease calories or increase cardio, whatever the case is. And also your body's gonna just be used to leveling, leveling up or leveling down whether you're cutting or bulking this way. So it's just a lot more easier for you to adjust to this new uh, regime that you're going into. So things I would say to avoid whether you're cutting or bulking is for number one for cutting. Don't try to like starve yourself. Take the right steps, start tracking, um, start integrating a little bit more cardio to help you get into that deficit if you don't want to decrease your calories too much. Um, this is going to help you out with the process overall. Again, I always try to preach sustainability and long term. You're not just doing this for now, um, you're doing it for the rest of your life. Just think about it that way. You don't want to just look good for this summer, you want to look good for the next 10, 15, 20, 30 years. So don't just do any kind of crash diets, start tracking. Um, if you don't have a coach, if that's something you want to do, then look into that or just look up, there's so much free content online, just look at what people usually do. Like what I did when I started learning about this was I was following a lot of competitors, even though I don't compete. I picked and choose what, what they did as far as diet, nutrition, training, sleep, um, and all that good stuff. And, and I integrated that into what I was doing and, I, and slowly I started to notice that it was helping me out and then I got to the point where I was able to kind of uh, put that nods towards my clients and everyone around me as well. So I would say really look for guidance. Don't avoid crash diets. If you're bulking, don't dirty bulk. Uh, take the right steps. Uh, again, it's, if you do these crash diets, whether you're bulking or cutting, it's gonna be really hard to get yourself out of that hole later down when you're um, looking to change things up. You, like again, fast results are really easy to get oftentimes, but it's just a matter of how long you wanna sustain that for it. Um, that you want to keep that in mind. So that's the last thing I'm going to leave you guys out with. Hopefully you guys enjoy the workout. Hopefully you guys enjoy these tips. And um, if you have any additional questions, definitely hit me up. And I love doing these talks. So any future topics you guys want me to talk about, drop them down in the comments down below. And I'll talk to you guys soon.